Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about The Flash Season 7. I'm sorry I'm a bit late on this news, but we have to talk about it because some very big news. We got a recasting announcement as in regards to one of the main characters in the past few seasons. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so this is coming from an Entertainment Weekly article, which will be linked in the description below. So there is going to be some big changes coming in Season 7. We kind of predicted this was going to happen at some point, or at least they were going to get rid of this character in some way. And we've got some details as to a potential recasting for Ralph Dibney, the Elongated Man. Okay, so the article goes like this. The Elongated Man is slinking away indefinitely when The Flash returns next year. So in an exclusive interview with EW, The Flash showrunner Eric Wallace revealed how the CW drama will handle Ralph Dibney's super flexible hero following the firing of his portrayer, Hartley Sawyer. The actor was dismissed in June. Okay, and now this is a quote from Eric Wallace regarding comic book stories and The Elongated Man and recasting him. So. This is the quote, the beauty of comic book stories and superhero stories are that the conventions that heroes come and go, but they never fade away and they never disappear entirely, so we're going to treat it like as if we were writing a comic book graphic novel, we're giving the elongated man a bit of a rest for now, but we will leave that door open, said Wallace. In another quote he says, who knows what the future could bring, it is unknown, but I'm not saying by any means that it's the end of this character, in fact, Quite the opposite. We just don't know when he will return or in what form he will return. That is the beauty of comic book stories and it keeps it fresh. Before sending Elongated Man off, Wallace and the writers felt it was important to honour the character. To that end, Ralph will play an important role in tying up some loose ends from season 6, which was shortened because of the coronavirus pandemic. In the season 6 finale, Mira Mistress frames Sue Dearborn who eventually marries Ralph in the comics for murdering Joseph Carver. And so another quote, In order to wrap that up, which we're doing at the top of season 7, Ralph has to be a part of that. Now thank goodness, Ralph is a guy who can change faces and his appearance in many ways. Without giving any spoilers away, there are a couple ways that we can have Elongated Man still appear in at least one episode this season to wrap up that storyline that gets us what we needed and still allows fans to say goodbye to that character for at least the indefinite future, said Wallace. So is the show recasting the role for season 7's premiere? And this is a quote, it's funny, I guess technically it would be recasting, but the character won't be a big part of season 7, he will only be part of wrapping up the Sue storyline. And so yes, one could say it is a recasting, but we're going to do it in a way that I think honours the spirit of the character and provides not only a satisfying conclusion to Sue's murder mystery, but also it's done with some humour. So losing the elongated man did create a problem for one of season 7's planned storylines. For Wallace sorted out, there was a whole storyline that involved Ralph with another character in particular going off on a two-handed journey, a season-long arc that would have involved a whole bunch of twists and turns that would have played into the season's big bad, which I don't want to spoil, and yeah, we can't do that anymore. However, as is always the case, this is why we like to plan ahead, and it turns out to be a situation of some lemons, and we made lemonade out of it. So we pulled the elongated man out of this particular storyline, and the storyline became so much stronger because it's now focused on the other character, who I don't want to reveal because it's a surprise. So he continued, for that other character it became much more of an emotional journey and this other character I'm referring to is one of our series regulars so it's going to be very exciting. That particular character now gets to go somewhere they never imagined would happen and so until many seasons down the line but now we pulled that up so I think it's going to be really fun and it was a good way to, like I said, make an awkward situation into a great opportunity that ends up making Team Flash as a whole stronger. And so, another quote, you're going to see more Sue more than once this year without the elongated man on her own making appearances and helping Team Flash in an unexpected way and it's going to be hilarious because she was so much fun. So keeping Sue was in the mix was one of the easiest decisions I've ever made as a showrunner. 
I called up Natalie and said, don't worry, you're still going to be a part of the season, we'll find a way. Now, when I told her that, to be honest, I wasn't quite sure how, but I am happy to report, we found a way. And so now we can expand her character and give her more backstory and more growth in ways we hadn't initially planned. Okay, so that is kind of the gist of the article. We're going to go back and go through some of it. Essentially, at the start of the article, at the top of the article, what they explain is, yeah, Ralph is going to go away, but they are going to find a way to wrap up his storyline, and they're going to do it in a fun way, in a way that keeps it fresh, and it's going to be like the comic books, and basically, there is potential ways in order to wrap it up in regards to him, because he can change faces, and he can change his appearance in it many ways so there is going to be option of having a new person in recasting but i've got a feeling they're not going to do that by the way that eric actually talked about this because he talks about it as in it's not technically a recasting because if it was a straight up recasting it would be like another person straight up so i think they're gonna somehow retool some of the footage that they've had maybe when ralph wasn't facing the camera or whenever ralph does anything you know with his powers or anything they do actually CGI the face of normally Hartley Sawyer and they can CGI someone else's face or they can have Ralph just appear as someone else so basically we're gonna get a recasting for Ralph that is the details that we got in this and they're gonna find a way to say goodbye for the fans you know in a good way in a funny way in a way that is you know suitable unlike when other characters in other shows are fired like when an actor is fired they tend to just like cut it off and forget anything ever happened with them so i'm very happy that they are technically you know giving him a proper end even though it's not going to be hartley sawyer it's going to be you know recasting in a way you know i don't know what exactly eric is teasing but somehow they're going to find a way to make it satisfying and good that honors the spirit of the character and provides not only a satisfying conclusion to sue's murder mystery but also it's going to be done with some humor which is obviously very much so in line with ralph dibney so i think that is very very good and so you know the fact that there was a whole storyline planned and now because ralph is not there one of the other series regulars is going to be much bigger I kind of have a feeling this is going to be one of the new series regulars that's either going to be Allegra or it's going to be Chester because I don't know if maybe it will be Caitlyn but she's kind of had a lot of stuff with Ralph in the past so I don't think it's going to be Caitlyn. I think Iris has got her own stuff, Barry's got his own stuff so I guess the only other option is Cisco but then Cisco is pretty big normally or there's Wells, there's Nash but I kind of got a feeling it's going to be either Allegra or Chester, we'll have to see, but this is going to be a big story for that other character, it's going to be a much more emotional journey than planned, because it's just going to be focused on that one character. Somehow it links into this season's Big Bad, which is really, really interesting because, you know, the way he teases it seems to be like, you know, it's something that might grow and then you'll get, you know, some big moment where you get the reveal of this character. And I think it's very good that it's going to tie into one of our characters' storylines, but apparently it's a surprise right now, so he doesn't want to reveal it. So we'll have to keep on guessing, but for now I think it's, you know, very good that he has sort of figured everything out and has made it possible for Sue to come back and made it possible to do this character's storyline without Ralph and to actually include the villain still in that same way, but, you know, making it even better potentially, so... That's very exciting, and I can't wait to find out who that villain is, but somehow it's linked to one of our heroes. Okay, so yeah, Sue is going to be kept in the mix. This is going to be amazing, I think, because Sue was really good. I really, really liked Natalie. I thought she did a very, very good job, and I can't wait to see her return. I was most scared when they announced that, you know, Ralph wasn't going to be around when Hartley got fired, that they were just going to do a typical TV thing or like a film thing when they just forget about a character and I think it would be really bad with the way they ended Sue's story last season because they did set her up as a murderer and so I think it's very interesting they're gonna have to wrap that up and they said they're gonna wrap it up at the top of the season which means you know the first at least five episodes or something like that and you're gonna see Sue around more and she's gonna help out with the team in unexpected ways and it seems like it's going to be a lot of fun and Eric's very excited for it, so I am as well. So what do you guys think about all of this? This is some big news for The Flash Season 7 in regards to teasing what's going to happen at the start of the season. Let me know in the comments down below, are you excited for The Flash Season 7? And please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe. 
turn on notifications it really helps the channel out if you guys do that share the videos around and everything like that so i'll catch you guys later goodbye I see red.